you go. Sounds really nice. Sounds fun. Hey everyone, good morning. This is Mid and I hear your host here off the block, a Big Valley Auto Auction podcast. And I'm very excited for today because we kind of took a little turn and I said, hey, you know what? The world sees us, you know, yourself and myself every week, multiple times a week. Maybe too much times a week. Too many times a but week. nonetheless, my buddy, my pal, my other half, the better side, Big Valley sales rep, Mr. Omar Cardosa. Hi, how's it going, everybody? It was kind of cool. Thank you. I we're appreciate proud, that. Proud for you. Thank you. Hey, well, first and foremost, I know you got to be out there in the field, and I know you're you're doing your job to get uh, Big Valley keeping keeping us running and getting those new buyers and sellers. But I wanted to take some time and interview you a little bit and see what you know what. What Omar, who is Omar? The people want to know, you know, who's that guy? Other than the amazing, great looks and, you know, your beautiful voice, you know, mm -hmm. tell us who you are and how you got here to Big Valley and your 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 timeline for here at Big Valley. Man, well, thank you. First of all, thank you for having me. Man, it's been a really, really long time coming. Uh, I believe next, in the next, what, three weeks? Mm -hmm. It'll be 10 years since I've ten been here. 10 years, guys. Can I get like a... No, no, no. <laughs> but ten, 10 years yeah. is is a biggie. Congrats. Yeah, thank you, The man. audience and myself applaud you. Appreciate that. Yeah, so it's been 10 years since I started here. Um, I Of course, I didn't start in sales. Um, I don't know if you want me to elaborate a little bit on that. Sure, why not? Well, I started uh, back in 2012. Wow. The auction, guys, just for you guys out there, the auction opened in 2008. So four years into it is when Omar came and put his footprint here at Big Valley. Yeah, exactly. My footprint. I was a driver. It was awesome, though. I liked it. You know, uh, at that t at that time, it was uh, somebody else that was in charge of transportation, and you know, they were every, every, from from the very beginning, since day one, everybody's been really welcoming. Uh, I never felt awkward. Um, I I never felt weird or any in any way, shape, or form. Man, uh, I, I liked it. You know, the easy. You know, you just got to be responsible. Everybody's. You know, we we're all responsible adults, and so then. It wasn't up until three months after that that they offered me a position to be in the front counter, which I was like ecstatic about because I'm mean, cool, you know. Well, not only that, you have AC inside and outside. Yeah, you exactly. Don't have AC. I gotta be walking around, you know. Uh, truth be told, I gained a couple of pounds after I got to the front <laughs> counter, and it kind of went a little downhill from that. But you know, other than that, I was there in the front counter for a couple of years. Man, must have been like three years, I believe. Um, after that, some guy named uh, El Murray Hildo, Mere, also known as Mere, came along and, you know, he saw something that nobody else saw and he gave me a chance to be part of the sales team. And of course, you know, I'm always up to trying something different, something new. I tried it and I, I fell in love with it. I love yeah, it. And, I, and I'll be witness to it. It's one of the best decisions that I've made, um, transitioning you from the front counter over to sales. And, and I got to say... Me looking from an uh, outsider in and looking at what you were doing on the front counter and building the relationships and, and talking to clients and dealers and knowing everybody and always having a smiling face in your attitude. That's like, hey, I need that guy on my team. And that's when I decided to bring him over to the to the sales team. Um, so when you're out there on the on the field and you're visiting dealers, I know sometimes, you know, we go out of town. Sometimes we, you know, the majority of the time we stay here local, but what is it that you look for when you go to to a mom and pop lot or or dealership you know what do you see as a sales rep that that attracts you to that particular um potential client dealer i mean first of all you know you don't know who you're going to come across you know who you're going oh, who you're going to talk to you know i could be there day 1 and they may have seven cars and you know 6 months later they're running you know 75 cars and you know, their lot explodes, you know, because they're doing so good. And, you know, I try to I try to make it a point to to go and introduce myself, you know, whether they have one car, 10 cars, 15, 20, 30, you know, it, it doesn't matter. You know, everybody, everybody, everybody that has a car on their lot is important. You know, everybody, I, you know, there's potential in everything and in everybody who has a, a dealership, you know, but more than anything, I just go out there. I introduce myself, you know, I, I let them know what I do and, you know, it's it's just uh every every day it's different you know you don't know who you're gonna, you like i said you don't know who you're gonna talk to and and i mean it's just important you know to reach out to everybody because you know we might just have the next big deal just thinking do you have a funny story of something that's happened to you out on the lot somewhere maybe you know <laughs> 
you knocked in and went in at the wrong time. Maybe they were asleep, maybe or something. I don't know. Man, there's a lot of stories. There, there was this one time where I, you know, I knocked on the door and I could have sworn I heard somebody say, "Come in," you know, or "It's open." I can't remember. And I walked in and there was actually somebody asleep on the couch, <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh." Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Peters, don't be asleep at your lot. You need to sell cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Um, but no, I mean, there's tons of stories, man. Um, sometimes I get there right at the moment when they're having a barbecue and, you know, hey, you want some chicken? Oh, well, And I bet okay. you're not going to say no to a, <laughs> yeah, a plate of chicken. I bet. will not say no to chicken, especially if it's barbecue. That's right. Hey, so tell us, <clears throat> as, from your perspective as a sales rep, what uh, would you tell a seller that's wanting to bring cars to an auction and and what were they what advice can you give them to make sure that they you know one sell their car two try not to lose money and three you know try to make money i think you know from from the time that i've been here from what i've learned from what i've seen um it's really important not to hold on to a car too long um, which is what we call the turn or dealerships call you know the turn yeah turn time you know don't I try to tell them, you know what, if if within three to four weeks you can't sell the car, you might want to send it back because after that, you know, the you know, every week the car, for the most part, it depreciates. And uh, if you wait too long, if you start investing more money in it, you know, then you're going to be upside down in it. Yeah. And, what do you think are, are key factors when it comes to selling the car? Uh, just to be realistic with the with the price, you know, know where the market stands. Um, you know, we, every week, every week, every day that we go out there, we have market reports that we hand out. And I think that's one of the ways that they can do that. Another thing is, um, you can't, you know, one thing that I always tell everybody is when you take a car to the auction, more than likely, you're not going to get everything that you put in it. More than likely you're not. That's I mean, why rule of thumb is buy low, sell high. Yeah, exactly. Buy low, wholesale, sell retail high. Yeah. If, if you're one of the lucky ones right now, especially man. <laughs> You buy low, you know, he better. Or the unlucky ones, because a lot of people during COVID, you know, prices were skyrocketing and they were mad, crazy, expensive vehicles. And a lot of people, well, they needed the vehicle, so they bought them, right? So now they have them on their lot for three, four, five, six, seven months. Yeah. And it's like, hey, you're not going to get COVID money. The market has shifted and, you know, this is where we're at now. So, you know, with something like that, how do you, you know, what do you tell the dealer? Like, you know, hey, you know, I'm sorry, but this is a, a loser for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's something that you hate to tell somebody because this is their hard-earned time, money, effort, everything, you know. But the reality is we're, we're I think, I think you know, we're in a time where we don't know what's, you know, where this is going, what's going to happen with everything going on. And, you know, you just got to capitalize on every little thing you yeah. can. Yeah, definitely. The market, you know, it's 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 in a worse state. Um just when you think it's stabilizing, it tends to fluctuate and, you know, prices go up and prices go down. Nonetheless, okay, so let's switch over to the buyer side. So as a buyer, what what do you tell a buyer to do? I mean, I, you know, we have preview every Wednesday from 9 to 6 here at Big Valley Auto Auction. You can look at our inventory, bigvalleya.com or hpipeline.com. But what are some good key components, key advice that you would give buyers when they're looking to buy vehicles? For the most part, on the you know, when we do our videos and everything, I always tell them, don't buy blind, you know, don't come Thursday and, oh, that looks nice because, you know, Thursday comes along, you know, you get caught up in the adrenaline of buying and the car looks nice, but you haven't heard if, they, if, if you know, under the hood, you haven't heard if, um, you know, or you haven't felt if the AC works. I mean, it, you just gotta, you can't do that. It's really important uh, to come out, you know, come out to the auction on Wednesdays more than anything and just, you know, get hands on the car. Put your and I'm sure, on. I'm sure, other auctions around they also have preview days, so you might want to check with your local auction, see what their preview days are, so you can go in there and and do your research. You know, do your due diligence because we, at the end of the day, you know, we we want to make sure that that you know we're giving you the best advice possible, so you could be successful at what it is that you do. Um, with that being said, uh, right now as you were talking, um, I kind of I kind of thought to myself, um, where where you started to where you're at in the what about three years, four years you've been in sales. More yeah, or less. Like four years. What do you say has been one of the best things that you've learned throughout those? Man, there's just so much to learn. Like every day, every week, uh, you learn something new. You know what I mean? You got to appreciate. I personally, I appreciate what I do. I love what I do. 
you know, if it could be Thursday every day, I would love it. You know, it's just something about that, you know, Thursdays, especially cell day, you know. A rush. Yeah, yeah it's a rush. It's, you know, got to get things done. It, uh, but man, I've learned so much. I've learned, I've learned, I don't even know how to explain it or what to say. Just don't get emotional with me, please. <laughs> no. Don't, um, don't get me started. Man, I've just learned a lot, man. It's, uh. It's an experience. It's something, you know, that, that I, I mean, almost every day, for the most part, there's something, I learn something, uh, whether it be, you know, how to, how to handle situations, how to speak to people, how to, um, man, how, how to not make assumptions, you know, it's just so much, bro. It's, it's crazy. There you have it, guys. He said a whole lot of nothing <laughs> from what I got. I don't know if you got it too, but nonetheless, um, you know, what, what, um, for other sales reps out there that maybe are in the auction industry, maybe are just sales reps in general, like what's, what advice would you give them? You know, how, how do they, how do they capitalize or be better at, at what they do at, at their skill? Because not everybody can be a salesman, but you know, regardless of now, we all are salesmen at one point or another in our lives, even if we don't know it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, from when you go to, <laughs> buy food you know what i mean um my advice would be just be yourself you know um i i i i for the most what i what i like to do personally i you know i look at everything you know sometimes in the beginning i may be a little bit quiet but you know i look at how how people and again this is me i look at how people how people react how they interact how how you know the way they are and you know if i like something if i see that it that works you know I, i'll pick it up like i've picked up a lot a lot from you and you know i tweak it a little bit and you know and put my my taste i guess my flavor my Your seasoning yeah my seasoning on it Your and, marinade. <laughs> and then uh and and then i just do me but more than anything just be yourself um that's the most important thing because I can't, I'm, I, I can't go out there and, you know, carry myself like if I'm uh, Mede or Bernard, you know what I mean? You are you. Yeah, I'm me. I, you know, we go through what we go through and it shapes us and makes us into who we are. And, you know, just be yourself. Just be yourself. Uh, be um, grateful and thankful and, you know, try to see the positive in everything. Yeah. That's that's pretty good. Um I like that. I think uh, in our industry, um, building relationships is probably like top three in my in my book as far as you know how to get um, dealers in the door, clients in the door, and you know how to and, keep and, them. And even yeah, you know, customer retention and client retention is a biggie. And not only that, but you know, even if they're not buying at your auction, or even if you know they don't sell at your auction, that's good. You know, but just build a relationship because you know, to me, it's 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 not what you know, it's who you know. You know what I mean? Um, with that being said, uh, tell us what do you enjoy about working here at Big Bang? No, I mean, uh, I, I just, man, I, if, if I didn't like being here, I wouldn't be here. Uh, basically it's that simple. Uh, I, I just love it, man. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I mean, you know, when we get new people, I, you know, try to throw a little bit of knowledge and wisdom to them and, you know, I see them and I'll be like, look. You know, this is an awesome place to work. Stick around. You're going to like it and you're going to learn and you're going to grow and you're going to fall in love with it. And I mean, I love what I do. You know, people call me after work and I don't mind. You know, every now and then I'll answer the phone and sometimes when I can't, I can't. But other than that, I mean. Well, when I just, you don't, they call me. So yeah, <laughs> when they don't, they, your phone is ringing off the hood. That's right. Well, well, I want to thank you for your time. I know you're a busy man. You need to get out on the road and make sure we get you know, dealers coming in through the doors. But we appreciate everything that you do here at Big Valley. And I've seen you grow through the last couple of years that we've been working together and and i appreciate everything you do you know for us for me for the sales team and and overall for big valley um that's kind of wrap up this episode guys a I'll brief be- look into next episode so we're gonna look at the selling side of it from a dealership perspective so we'll have one of our local uh um, dealerships in in here in the studio so stay tuned for that meanwhile you can check out our podcast on YouTube and Spotify. Check out our website at bigvalleyaa.com and hpipe.com. You can also look at the inventory there. If you need something, give us a call at 956-461-9000. Um, 
here at Big Valley, guys, we're driving excellence. Because when you're here, you're family. That's right, guys. We're